A Bengaluru university just got invited into India's semiconductor race with a US chip fab partner. Yes, RUAS is now associated with specialized semiconductor training. On the academic side, the university spent over 52 crore rupees on laboratory equipment and 208 crore on faculty salaries. Numbers that suggest a strong shift towards research infrastructure rather than cosmetic upgrades. There's also an unusual patent pattern. In 2023, the university had 22 patents published but 33 patents granted. A rare case where the approvals out number the filings implying tighter internal screening before ideas are submitted across the campus the work happening inside different labs is quite varied there are propulsion experiments aerodynamic modeling setups and composite material labs often associated with aerospace students also work on electric vehicle systems battery packs and motor controllers the kind of hands on work that typically needs deeper resources the multidisciplinary mix is another unexpected element engineering design medical sciences dental sciences pharmacy culinary science and aviation operate within the same environment outside the classroom the university's innovation disclosures list several dpiit recognized startups publicly available reports indicate that aerosite has raised close to 1 crore rupees and ruas linked ventures together have received around 1.5 crore rupees in government backed innovation support internationally the university lists partners in germany the uk japan and indian r&d clusters covering research collaboration student exchanges co supervised projects and specialized training around the campus you will find different pockets of practical work students tuning racing vehicles others building ar or vr environments and some experimenting with food formulations or materials testing for more information on msr us and any other institution just whatsapp guide to 8585951111